Right, hi guys. Um, another instalment of uh, uh, War Games videos. This one's um, Zulu War. Um, Brits from Bacchus Miniatures, 6mm. So these are pretty nice miniatures. And I've uh, been working on these on and off for a few weeks now, in amongst other jobs. So I just thought I'd showcase them and uh, let you see what Bacchus was capable of. So we've got... Um, Focus on them. So we've got a uh, firing line there. Pretty good. The Martini Henry rifles got loading and firing positions. And uh, same again there. This one's got uh, an officer in his white helmet. And uh, I put the dress helmets on. Uh, because it will be easy to see the command stands. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four of those, and then we've got uh, a couple of infantry commands for holding actions, things like that, and then we've got um, artillery, irregular. Six pounder field pieces. Got four of those there. And then we've got um, there's just an excess cavalry commander that I popped on a, uh, a penny to make him into a command stand for the artillery. And then these are nice, a little bit different. So I've got uh, infantry tunics. So these are your. Um, Gatling guns, and these are all based for black powder. So I've got a couple of those, um, and then this one is uh, my general, and uh, I didn't know whether to put him in a black tunic, a proper general's tunic, or whether to put him in a red one, but uh, he was already painted red, so I went with that. And then the um, guy holding the flag. Uh, a little bit of overkill, I think, but basically um, he was a conversion. Um, just an infantryman that uh, converted to a standard bearer. Should really be an ensign, so should be wearing a white helmet, but there you go. Uh, and then we've got these lovely little uh, infantry bell tents. So these are from Bacchus as well, but these are like a resin. Uh, a little bit fragile, these. A couple of them broke in the post. But uh, they were cheap, so I'm not going to split hairs. Uh, what else we got? Um, we got the um, marching infantry. So when you get the army pack, you get a mix of firing lines and marching infantry. So uh, four strips of four men fit neatly onto the base. Get some visual impact. And then we've got um, unit of lancers. So painting them as roughly the 17th. But, um, campaign dress. The little pennants on the lances. They're quite nice. There's a command stand with those as well. And also, if you can see those, some dragoons. We all know how Zulus feel about cavalry, so I have to get some of those in there. And um, cavalry command stand. So this chap's wearing the, uh, and his subordinates wearing the darker coat of the senior officers. And that's about it for the fighting men. And then in support, I've got a load of these to paint, which I haven't done yet. I just thought I'd show you these. These are from Bacchus as well. This is a four horse covered wagon uh, and they're going to be used for my Napoleonic games as well I think because they're quite generic. The guy in the driving seat's not wearing a uniform as such so it could be anybody. 
I've got a load of these to paint as well, just to show you. And he's got some pack horses and a driver there. And then also I've got some of these. I've got a few of these to paint too. So these are um, two horse wagons with a driver. Uh, and interestingly when they come you can have the cover on or off as you can for the four horse wagon as well. So it's up to you whether you cover it or not. But I prefer them covered. It could be carrying anything then. And then, also got some of these guys, if you can see those. These are uh, uh, um, native African bearers. So assisting the British Army. So I've got loads of them to paint. I've also got a load of cattle to paint that we're going to do for the Zulu Army. Um, and that's about it really. So uh, I'll show you the Zulu Army next time. Um, let's get that focus. Show the Zulu army next time, see what you make of that.